Hey everyone, welcome to KO Crafts with Kelly. Um, take two. I tried to film, or I did film this on my Samsung Galaxy and the video didn't record correctly, the sound. So I'm going to do it on my phone and then after I update it, I will delete it, I guess, or something. So um, I won a giveaway from Kim's Creations and Knitting. Thank you, Kim. I'm so excited. I have opened it because I filmed it once. So this is the box it came in and it's got some absolutely fantastic stuff in it. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So let's get started. First, she sent me this great card thanking me for uh, participating and winning her 1000 subscriber giveaway and yay for Kim, a thousand subscribers. So um, I got this little notepad, which is really great for keeping in your purse keeping track of things as ideas pop into your head. Um, I then got a crochet magazine from Canada because that's where she's at and it's got some really cool stuff in it. The first thing I noticed was this absolutely fabulous purse. Uh, I see it as a nice project bag. So I probably will be making that because it looks amazing. So got that. Then I got some candy. And let me tell you, the stuff, there's four things in here. Smarties, coffee crisps, which you can't get in the United States. Uh, Aero bars, which you can't get in the United States. And they're amazing. When I worked for my other trucking company, we had Canadian guys that would send them to us. And then Kit Kats. So, yay, chocolate fix, here I come. <clears throat> then I got some heart buttons, which are so cute. Uh, measuring tape, which you never have enough. You need one for every project bag. Then I got this little find yourself and be that little bag that has some more stuff in it. Those two were in it, but then there's also uh, a uh, row counter. You need one of those for every bag. And, yeah. and then I got this cute little bag, which has some amazing stuff in it. It's got this little cutter, which I love. I already have two and I've lost one. <laughs> Some absolutely gorgeous stitch markers. Look at those. Aren't those beautiful? Come on, focus camera. They're just amazing. Let's see if I can focus well. Those are great. And then I got owl buttons. And they're so cute. Look at these. Aren't those cute? I got purple. Yellow. Blue. Green. And pink. And then I got a whole handful of these buttons that say handmade with love, which are adorable. I am going to put them on all of my giveaway projects. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Aren't those cute? So, yeah, that's amazing. So I got all that. And then to the yarn. There was also a notebook in here that had those bees where they flip colors back and forth. My granddaughter's already taken that, so... You know, that's okay, because she had something that I wanted, so we did it a trade. So that was okay. Good. So the first yarny I got was called Soho Lively. Look at those colors. Aren't those amazing? And this is so soft, you guys. It is amazing soft. It is called Grace. It is a light three, 100% acrylic, lay flat to dry, machine wash, made in China. It's a Hirschner's yarn. Oh, but isn't that so pretty? I got five of them and each one shows a little bit of the different colors. It's two. There's some of the green. They're all the same color. They just have different colors on the outsides. Purple and orange. Oh, these are going to be a baby blanket because I'm telling you what, it is amazingly soft. Then I got three skeins of Roll With It Tweed from Red Heart. I've never had tweed. And I can't wait to think of something to make with this. It's 100% acrylic. 296 yards. 
It is a, I think it was a heavy four, yes, a medium four, which, yeah, that's probably right. This color is called Popular Pink. And then I got this one. Isn't that cool? This one is called Violet. Ah, it's so excited. And then I got a third one, which is called Oce Oce Oceanic. Oceanic. Isn't that cute? I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Kim, this is so great. I love everything in here. Especially all the little extras. I can't wait to start working with this. Oh, it's so soft, you guys. It's amazing. So ho lively. So that was my winnings. I am super excited. I love it all. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you very much, Kim. Congratulations on your thousand subscribers. I can't wait for you to succeed into more. Um, <clears throat> so uh, let's talk a little bit about how the coronavirus is affecting my state. I live in Indiana. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything cleaned up. Um, I live in Indiana. They have shut down all the schools, all the daycares, uh, all the churches have closed Child Watch, uh, Sunday schools, things like that. Um, the restaurants have been mandatory shut down for eat in. You can only do drive through. Um, they have said no gatherings of more than 10 people. Uh, my daughter is a teacher. She has to still go to school, even though the kids don't. Um, they're doing e-learning, so she's there to help with anything. Um, however, uh, next week starts their two-week spring break, and then we'll see what happens after that. Um, I think we're very close to being in a lockdown situation where everybody is asked to just stay home, um, <clears throat> which will totally be hard for people um, just because, you know, nobody will be able to work. Waitresses are already out of work. Uh, hairdressers will be out of work. You know, all those that, you know, what are they going to do? Um, I feel bad for them. Um, it's kind of scary, but I understand the reason. It's not because the virus is deadly and a plague and all that. Yes, it's deadly to... Um, senior citizens to people with lung issues with immune deficiency just like the flu um, but the thing is at least in Indiana as soon as this started people did a mad rush to the stores cleaned out the shelves you can't get anything you can't get toilet paper you can't get you know facial tissue you can't get a lot of food um, you know people are hoarding Walmart for the first time that I've ever heard is closing at 11 o'clock at night doesn't open until six o'clock in the morning so that they can try and get some things on the shelves. They have limited how many items you can buy of certain products and they still can't keep it on the shelves. So, you know, imagine how, you know, you would feel when I go into the grocery store and I can't, all the shelves are empty. If we don't do this and if people don't honor it, you're going to go into a hospital with a, you know, a family member who can't breathe and there's going to be no beds. There's going to be no doctors available. There's going to be no medicine. That's why they're doing it. So, you know, don't freak out. Don't be crazy. Don't hoard. You know, if you don't need something, don't buy it. Leave it for people who really need it. Um, you know, me and my daughter, granddaughter went to the grocery store yesterday and she's saying, oh, we should probably get this. We should probably get this. And, you know. I said, no, we don't need it. We're going to leave it for somebody who maybe does. So, you know, just be considerate. Be, you know, it's not the end of the world. Yes, it's going to be difficult. Yes, it's going to cause some problems. But, you know, if you do your part, it could help it be go smoother. So, end of my rant. But anyway, so I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow for Diamond Thursday. I've got an unboxing of a giant picture. I can't wait to get started on. Show you my progress on my Chuck Pins and Chuck Along, which is turning out lovely. And then we'll see what we get to video after that. Like I said, I'm home with three kids. And yeah, kind of take up my time right now. One of them, the baby's napping so I can squeeze this in. So God bless. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And be kind. Love you.